Hello, shalom to everybody again. Um, I feel led to share something um, from the book of Genesis to encourage you in this, um, what I would call interesting times we're living in, this COVID-19 crisis or pandemic, um, the situation on the um, race issues in America, there just seems to be a lot of shaking all over the world. But I want to, I want to talk into something that I feel you see, an encouragement for someone, uh, and I just pray that God will speak to you through it. I, if you have the Bibles, you can open it to the book of Genesis chapter 11, and I'm reading from verses 31 to 32, just two verses. And Terah took his son Abraham and his grandson Lot, the son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, his son Abraham's wife, and they went out with them from all of the Chaldeans to go to the land of Canaan. So they came to Haran and dwelt there. So the days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. If I'm going to title this message, it is, there's more. There's more for you ahead. There's more for you ahead. So, a little bit of, a bit of background. Um, the Tower of Babel matter had just finished. God had gone to Abraham's family to raise them up, to take them out of that area to go to a new place. Um, Abraham's father, Terah, possibly had the call. I don't know. But it's very clear from what we just read now that they left the old the Chaldeans to go to the land of Canaan. Um, it could be that God spoke to Abraham, which is more likely, and Terah supported his son and said, let's go. Let's go. God has told you to leave, so let's go. But anyway, they got to a place called Haran. Um, and when they got to Haran, they settled there. They actually lived there. And Haran, and then Terah died there. Um, what I want to say is that from studying the history, studying the geography, Haran must have been a nice place. It must have been very comfortable. Um, it must felt, have felt like home. And so Terah settled there. And, um, you know, in settling there, he never got to Canaan, and he eventually died there. And um, in this time of great upheaval, shaking and everything, uh, it is easy for us to try to settle in a comfortable place. But I want to say that God is actually calling us to continue moving, to continue to to continue to go forward and not settle and, and just keep going because there's still more ahead of us. Haran was comfortable. It was a halfway house. A halfway house became, a desti- became the final destination. And how many times have we decided, look, we've done enough. We've built enough. We've pushed enough. Let's just take a break here. Let's just rest here. And sometimes rest becomes permanent. You don't leave. Um, And most times, what I feel the Holy Spirit is trying to tell us today is that good is the enemy of the best. Your past successes can limit you from greater successes in the future. What you have achieved that looks great could be even just a shadow of what God wants to do with you. And then the, the tendency sometimes is to, is, to, is to rest on your oars and to say, look, I've done enough. I've tried. Let somebody else take over. But God may still have much more for you. God's plan for them was to go to Canaan. Canaan is the promised land. But when they got to Haran, the halfway house, they stopped. I don't know who I might be speaking to today, but I just want you to hear this. God has more for you in the future. God wants you 
to keep moving. God wants you to keep thinking, to keep innovating, to keep developing, to keep um, breaking through, um, to keep um, 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 pioneering and not stop. Don't rest. Don't, 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 don't stop. Keep going because there's more for you in your future. And the best is ahead of you, not behind you. Um, the danger of Haran, I'm going to tell you a little story. A little story I always tell when I'm talking about Haran. So there's this, uh, in the, I'm in America, in the days of wild cutting and digging for, for um, gold, um, there was this man who sold up everything he owned and, and, and just traveled you know, to, the, to California to dig for gold. And um, he got there and, um, you know, dug for about three years. Um, bought equipment, but he didn't, didn't get, he didn't, didn't see any gold. And um, after three years, he said, look, there's no gold here. I mean, well, if there was any gold, it's all been exhausted. Let me just pack up and go. So he sold the equipment. In fact, he packed up the equipment, gave it to uh, someone local there to sell for him. And he was going back to where he came from. Um, the funny thing was that as he was leaving town, he stumbled, and another man was coming into town and saying, look, I had this gold here. And the guy said, look, I've been here for the last three years digging and there's no gold. Can't find anything. Um, and the guy said, no, I had this gold. He said, well, God bless you, go and try. But I didn't see any gold and I've been here for three years. And the guy said, Excuse me, could you show me where you were digging? He said, where is there? How about the equipment you're using to dig? He said, well, I just gave it to that guy. You can buy it off him. And the guy paid for the equipment and took over the pit the guy had been digging. And from what the story we had was that he only dug three more feet and hit one of the largest and most profitable veins of gold in that whole region. The danger of quitting, the danger of settling, the danger of, of not pushing forward. If you think you've done something very well, you can, you can do better. The Bible says, and God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think, according to his great power that's at work within us. Haran is not the destination. Canaan is the destination. And I want to say to you, I don't know who I'm speaking to. I just feel prophetically to share this with, with someone. And it's for someone. Hear the word of the Lord. You are not at your destination yet. Keep moving. Keep pressing in. Keep pioneering. Keep opening. Keep doing things. Your breakthrough and your Canaan is just ahead of you. It is not behind you. And may the Lord help you to be strengthened in this time. May He refresh your vision. May He refresh your thoughts. May He give you new strength. And may He lift you so you are able to continue in the journey. Don't give up. Don't break up. Don't break down. Keep going. The best is yet to come. In Jesus' name. Amen.